Assalamu alaikum guys. In this video, we'll talk about some tips about eager loading in Laravel. Here I have my post model and it has a relationship with user with users as you can see here. And here in my table, my database, I have nine posts and three users and each user has three posts, right? So let's start. For here, our first tip is loading user. And if I go to test endpoint, as you can see, post this and here is a post and it's loaded with user but what if we don't use extra data from users and we need only the name of user how can we load it here we can do something like that here user and select name only right back and test it again as you can see user becomes null so guys if you want to select a custom columns or a specific columns from the relationship we must provide foreign keys and the primary keys so here I will provide also the ID right back and send again and as you can see here user ID and name only right also what if we want to use or to load only title for posts we can do it easily here from get or using select we can say also title and we will face another error here because as I mentioned, we must load all foreign and primary keys, right? Because it depends on the relation. So I will see also here title and post ID and user ID back and send again. Now it works correctly. Title and user name only, right? What if we want to do extra logic here for user? For example, like that. And I will say load posts with user whose ID, for example, greater than one, something like that here, query where user ID is greater than one, back and send again, it's loaded again, all posts, and we can add select here, right, select, I will select primary or foreign key again, and name only, send it again, and it works correctly. Right. The next tip is if we want to load always the relationship without repeating this with, we can do it easily by going to post model. Let's remove it. And I will say here we have a defined variable called with, right? And we can say with user. Back and set it again. And also you can do the same thing here by loading ID or specific columns only and name, right? Send, it works without using with method here. For some exceptions, you may don't want to use the relationship. So you can use method here called without. And here without user, send, and it's loaded only using a title and other columns that we specified inside the get method here, right? What if we have extra columns here or extra relations here inside this with variable, for example, tags, and it may be comments and multiple relationships, and we need to load only some specific relationships. We can say without it and multiple relations, or we can use a method called load only or with only right and with only user back and send again and it's fetched with user only as you can see here and it's overrided the value here right so it will be neglected so also again you can use here id and name send the request again and it works correctly right if i remove this with only it will automatically load the relations that i defined here send request and because i don't have post text table it's through this error so it's normal right what about with single or models for example like that i will say here post and find id number one send it again let's remove this post here and now send it again and even for single posts, it fetches user because we defined it to fetch it automatically in the model to accept it or to fetch relation 
or model only without any relation or without specific relation we can also use here without method it's valid also for specific or for single models so without user send it again and it works correctly right the same thing also is valid for with only relationship here right send it again and it works correctly without any problems let's add our specific columns if we want id only for example send and it works correctly here is some quick tips about eager loading in laravel if you found it useful support me by clicking on like share and subscribe see you in next videos